on. <laughs> if you guys have been following some of my recent videos, then you would know that I've been doing a fair bit of estuary fishing. I've been really enjoying it, and it's something new which I've never really done before. But in my recent ones, I've been traveling really, really far, like four hours, five hour drives to get to those locations. So what I'm gonna do today is explore one of my local spots, a local, really small estuary system. Now, this little system is known for being very, very hit and miss, but there are some good fish which hold in this system. There's estuary perch, there's brim, there's flathead, mullet, there's a whole bunch and a different variety of species. So my plan to fish this little system this morning is to start from the very, very bottom. The ocean is just on the other side of these sand dunes right in front of me. So we're gonna start down the bottom and work our way all the way up. There's some structure down further and some little good areas which hold fish. So that's gonna be my plan, start from the bottom and work our way up. And before I get any comments about the two GoPros, one of them is having some slight technical difficulties. So I'm gonna be wearing two of them today. Anyway, let's get into the fishing. So we have our light little estuary combo which we're gonna be using this morning. We have eight pound leader. And we're gonna start off throwing a little two inch grub. This is probably my favorite go-to lure just for trying to get bites and trying to get some fish initially. So as I said, we're gonna start from the bottom of this estuary. So this is gonna be our first little spot. We're gonna try right here. This is more of a sandy area. There's a bunch of sand as you can see around here. And then as you go up further, there's more structure and hopefully we'll be able to get onto some perch. Oh, on. First cast. I think it's a little flatty maybe. Have a look at that. <laughs> first cast, we got a little salmon. Not exactly what we're after, but that was literally first cast at this little spot baby little Australian salmon. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. First cast. Well, that didn't take very long to get a hit. If you guys can't tell, it is extremely, extremely windy today. It's blowing 15 to 20 knots all day. Ridiculous winds. Oh, far out. What a save. That would have been devastating for the camera. I just saved your guy's life. <laughs> the ultra instincts kicked in. I knew it was gonna happen. All right, let's cast right along these shallows. Could be a flatty sitting real shallow. Oh, wrong. Right in front of me, another little salmon. We have found a massive school of little salmon by the looks of things. Every cast I'm getting tap, 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 tap. On. <laughs> it's another little, oh. You got off. On again. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, these are all salmon, I think. They must be hungry if they're eating tiny little things like this. As I said, there's flathead in here as well. Flathead, there's brim. Oh, had a hit. There's brim, there's estuary perch. There's heaps of different fish in here. We're on again. You can literally just skull drag them in. If someone released the Jewfish in here, it would have so much food, it's not even funny. All right, so we'll give this spot a crack. We'll be fishing over there before off that sand bank and uh, we've caught a bunch of salmon, so we moved over. It looks like some people have been land-based fishing right here, maybe with some bait, some prawns. So there might be some uh, brimbos in the area waiting for those people to come back with bait. So let's see. Just as many as you want. All right, so we've just changed over lures, changed up profiles. So we were using a curly tail, now we've gone to a paddle tail. Still got a 112 jig head on there, and this is also a two and a half inch lure. So a little bit bigger than the two inch grub. And hopefully that change in profile might get a hit from a brim or a perch. Oh, we're on. That's a decent little fish too. That's a decent little fish. Oh, yes. What is this? We gotta get him above the weed. Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Big perch. Yes, he didn't fight at all. Oh, big perch. 
Oh. Yes. Oh. That's a bucket. Oh, he literally didn't fight. I thought he was a big floody. Well, I said to you guys we're after a bigger fish today. Bigger perch or a bigger brim and look at that. That is a cracking perch. Easily my personal best. Oh, I'm stoked with that. Have a look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful estuary perch. 36 centimeters, new PB. I'm stoked with that. It's been attacked by an eagle in the past. I'm just gonna keep swimming her, try get her to release. Starting to swim, which is good. It keep going belly up before. Starting to swim, it's coming back. There's a bloody hawk right here. This big bird is waiting, waiting for me to release it and waiting for it to go belly up. Look, it's been attacked in the past by a big bird. See there? Oh, look at it. Oh, it's gonna release its, yeah, it's gone. Hell yeah, that's so good. I'm so glad it released. How good was that fish? I'm stoked with that. That's exactly what we're looking for. A good quality fish out of the little local system. This is the little lure which did the damage. Two and a half inch Daiwa bait junkie in a little paddle tail. That is sick. Anyway, we'll keep fishing, get out there. Sometimes perch can be in school, so we could pick up a couple more. So it is raining and we are back down here. It is a different day, but we're gonna try something different. We've got a little hard body right here. We're just gonna slow roll this along the sand flat. So there's a little bit of a deeper channel which runs through the middle. So we're just gonna slow roll this little lure along the bottom on these sand flats and try to pick up a brimbo or a flatty. And we'll just see what we can catch. It has been raining all day, like, like heavy, heavy rain, and it's just started to slow down a little bit. So I made my way out for a quick session, see if we can pick up any fish. On. Oh, something's grabbed it. What is this? Oh, it feels decent too. Are you serious? What has grabbed this? Oh, it's a brim. Oh, <laughs> we've got a brimbo. We've put on a little chubby, chubby lure, jackal chubby, and a brim has smacked it. Oh, yes. Nice little brimbo. I was just running this thing along the bottom and this brim has absolutely smacked it. That's what we're after. Caught a bunch of salmon. Oh, it's a beautiful little brim. Caught a bunch of salmon, an estuary perch, and now a brim. The trifecta in this little system. It's actually a different day. Just had a break from the rain. I just came down for a half hour session to see if we could pick up a quick fish. And we've caught a beautiful little brim. He's a cracking little fish. Yeah, we got him. Have a look at him on a little hard body. There he is right there. Have a look how purple he is. That's such a purple brim, wow. That's a cracking little fish. Happy with that. All right, take a look at this little beautiful fish. Just went down to the local, as I said, was running this little hard body lure, just running it slowly along the bottom. And uh, we picked up this beautiful, beautiful brim. Couldn't be happier. We've got the trifecta, the salmon, the estuary perch, and now the beautiful brim. Take a look at the colors on that fish. That's amazing. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it going. See you, mate. Beautiful little fish. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up the end of this local estuary fishing video. If you enjoyed this one and wanna see more like it, give the video a like, comment future video suggestions in the comments below, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.